So there are literally hundreds of solar panels out there and you're probably seeing ads every day on TV, online, or even in the mail about which one to pick. And with so many options out there, I know it's tough to choose which panel makes the most sense for your home, which is why in this video, I decided to make it easy by listing out the best solar panels in 2023 based on everything that I'm seeing in the overall solar market. Now, I tried to make this list as simple as possible to follow as I go through the main benefits and features that each panel has to offer. And this is also gonna be more of a high level overview of these panels, just to tell you why exactly I like them and why some of these panels may be a good fit for you. So as always, let's get right into it here. Make sure to tap the like button and subscribe down below. First, let's talk about the Hanwha QCell 400 watt panel. This panel is by far the most commonly sold panel on today's market due to its price and performance. This is a German engineered panel, which is currently manufactured in the state of Georgia and the largest solar factory in the Western hemisphere. This panel is rated at 400 watts in STC and 300 watts in operating conditions. Let me explain what this means. When solar panels are tested for wattage in the factory, they're tested at what is called standard testing conditions. What that means is they put the panel in a room and set the temperature at 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and then they put large bulbs over the panels with a radiance of 1000 watts per square meter. This is somewhat of a naive way to test panels for wattage because conditions like this will likely never be that good. Therefore, some manufacturers will also test their panels at operating conditions, or NMOT which stands for Nominal Module Operating Temperature. These ratings will reflect the panel's watt rating when the panels are brought into a room at 113 degrees Fahrenheit with a radiance of 800 watts per square meter. When tested in these conditions, we can get a better sense of how the panel will actually perform once things such as panel efficiency and temperature coefficient are put to test. These ratings will always be lower than the STC rating, but are gonna better reflect how the panel will actually produce. And you might be thinking, well, where I live, it, it doesn't get up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, so it doesn't really matter. But in reality, roof temperatures can be anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees hotter than on the ground, and with the panels sitting right off of where the light rays will reflect off the roof, the panels can get pretty hot. I used to work in solar installation in Texas, and at times we couldn't wear certain brands of shoes on the roof because the glue would melt off the bottoms. So that's how hot it can get, and it's why we look at operating conditions when evaluating a panel. This is a 66 cell black on black monocrystalline panel. This panel features its duo technology, splitting the 66 solar cells into 132 cells, allowing for a higher efficiency and output of the panel. The Q-Cell panel also features their quantum technology. What that refers to is that behind the solar cells, there's a reflective paste, which will capture the sunlight that seeps through the cells and then reflects it back onto the cells, allowing for less lost power. I also wanna point out that it's not always good to look at a panel just based upon how many watts that it can put out, but instead how many watts per square inch it can put out. If you looked at different residential solar panels, you may have found that panels typically fall between 325 and 440 watts. And in a lot of instances, the panel with a higher watt rating is just gonna be bigger and more expensive. In reality, a lot of companies don't even choose to work with panels over 410 watts because it can become difficult to be flexible on the roof with panel placements with how big they are. Panels which exceed 440 watts are typically commercial panels, which you'll see in solar farms or on top of commercial buildings. Therefore, it's pretty common to see residential solar panels hover around that 400 watt mark, which installers have found to be that sweet spot in design. The Q-Cell panel comes in at a pretty standard 75 by 40 feet dimension, which allows for flexibility within residential installs on the roof. As far as warranties are concerned, this panel offers a 25 year linear power warranty with 86% guaranteed power in year 25, which is 6% above the industry standard 25 year 80%. As I mentioned before, this panel is commonly sold amongst most installers due to its competitive price and should typically be available in most installers inventory at all times, making it the most commonly sold panel in today's solar market. It is a panel that I've personally installed a lot of times and there's a good reason why. Now let's talk about the Jinko Cheetah 410 watt solar panel. Jinko is one of the largest solar manufacturers on the market and makes their products in America in Jacksonville, Florida. The Jinko is a black on black solar panel with 144 split solar cells. What really sets this panel apart from its competition is the price. Jinko offers one of the most price competitive solar panels on the market, right up there with Qcell. And for that reason, they're a great option for people who are looking to save money when going solar. This 410 watt module has a panel rating of 410 watts in STC and 310 watts in operating conditions. 
This panel does feature a five bus bar design, which helps increase the efficiency of the module as it allows for alternative electron flow, therefore making it a great panel for residential rooftop design. This panel offers a 25 year linear power warranty with guaranteed power production of 83% at year 25. It's a good time to bring up a point worth mentioning that should add value to those watching. Solar panel warranties are often carried over to the installer that you choose to work with, meaning the warranty can only be serviced under the impression that your installer is still in business. It's important to note this because if you are in the process of getting solar quotes, I want you to take into account the importance of working with an installer who you know and trust can be around for the next 25 years to service your system. And as always guys, if you are in the process of going solar and you need to get a price quote or maybe you already have a price quote and you just wanna get a comparison just to see that you're getting a good deal, feel free to reach out to us by booking a short Zoom call using the link below this video and we'd be happy to provide you with some pricing. The next brand I wanna talk about is the SunPower catalog of panels. Now, SunPower offers a variety of panels which their brother company, Maxion, produces. And I did not wanna select a specific module of theirs for they seem to change offerings pretty consistently in what they carry. One of the things that has changed with SunPower is that they're now able to offer a black on black aesthetic. Previously, and still on some of their modules, you would have a gray inner lining separating the solar cells. However, now, SunPower has made that lining black, improving the aesthetic of the panel. SunPower is one of the largest solar companies in the country, and not only installs the panels, but they also work with their brother company, as I mentioned earlier, Maxion, to manufacture the panels. The benefit with this is that the entire system is covered on a comprehensive limited warranty, and therefore it can be easier to service. SunPower historically offers some of the most efficient solar panels in the market, with the highest energy density, though they will come in at a slightly higher price tag due to the topology of the panel and the high performance. This panel comes with a factory integrated in-phase microinverter and the monitoring of the system will go through the SunPower homeowner website. Overall, a great option for homeowners looking to go solar with a highly efficient panel. Now let's go over the Aptos DNA 440 watt solar panel. Considered one of the strongest and most weather resistant panels in the market, Aptos prides itself on bringing to the market a panel which can stand the fiercest of weather conditions. The Aptos DNA 440 watt is an American engineered black on black monocrystalline panel, which despite its strength and performance is still able to come out at a competitive price point. One of the larger panels in the market, the Aptos DNA panels measures at over seven feet tall and 40 inches wide. Now, being a 72 cell panel, this panel does look like a commercial size panel. However, it's primarily used for residential installations. This panel features a split cell technology, which splits the 72 cells in twos. What this allows for is alternative paths for electron flow within the module, which lowers the resistance and improves the shade mitigation capabilities. As well, this panel features a nine bus bar design within each split solar cell, allowing for alternative electron flow when shading is present on certain areas of the panel. This panel is becoming increasingly popular in markets such as the Midwest and North Texas due to its wind rating and strength amongst other elements such as hail and snow. The only downside that I can mention with this panel is that with it being so large, it can be difficult at times to be flexible with the design on the roof. As far as warranties are concerned, Aptos offers a competitive 30 year warranty with 82.4% guaranteed power in year 30. As far as pricing is concerned with this panel, this panel is pretty competitive with its price and does not differ too greatly from any mid to top tier panels on the market. Finally, let's go over the REC Alpha Pure Black 400 watt panel. REC is a more established solar company with over 25 years of company history. This panel offers a 25 year warranty with guaranteed power production of 92% at year 25, which is currently the highest in the market and over 12% higher than the industry standard. Similar to the QCell 400, this is a 132 half cut cell panel with a black on black aesthetic. This panel's specialty is that it offers a low temperature coefficient, which is something we'll be getting into in a second. I will give you guys the heads up and mention that this panel is a higher price module. Typically, you can expect to pay anywhere from 25 to 45 cents per watt above what you would otherwise pay for a panel such as the QCell or Jinko panel. Here's a helpful table I've made going over the information we just covered. As far as the aesthetic is concerned, all of these panels will be the black on black modules. As far as company age is concerned, we can see here that SunPower is the oldest company of the bunch and Aptos is the newest. As far as efficiency is concerned, we can see that they all hover within 3% of each other, but SunPower takes the edge. 
This will cover the watt rating of the panels, but more importantly, the NMOT rating, which by the way, SunPower and Aptos will not disclose on their product spec sheets. As far as availability is concerned, Jinko and QCell will be the most readily available panels, and SunPower and Aptos are both less commonly held panels amongst installers. As far as the warranty is concerned, all of these panels will offer at least a 25-year performance warranty, and then some of them will offer an additional warranty. And lastly, as far as pricing is concerned, QCell and Jinko will be the most price competitive panels, and then we will see SunPower and REC being the more higher price panels on this list. At the end of the day, there are hundreds of manufacturers out there, which has led to healthy competition and companies putting out great products. Again, guys, check us out on our website. And if you are getting started in solar, I recommend checking out my video going over the 10 mistakes that first time solar homeowners make when going solar, which I'll put on the screen now. Again, my name is Jack and I will see you guys next time.